And now it is my distinct honor, we thought about this day for many years, to introduce to you your U.S. Senator, Maria Cantwell. If it weren't for the work that she did over the number of years protecting the Low Income Housing Tax Credit Program, we would not have those buildings here today. Those buildings brought in about one-third of the revenue needed to cover the development cost. Senator Cantwell, thank you. Wow, what a great celebration in Tukwila today. So many of you are here to make sure that we recognize the great work that so many people have done on this accomplishment. I, too, want to add my congratulations to Mayor Eckberg, Kim Herman, Jay Wolford, Derek Speck, Brian Park, the developer who just spoke, and to congratulate Lisa Rosenblum, the King County Library, who's part of this project. And I know you're gonna hear from council member uh, Quinn in a little bit. So I wanna thank also on the city council, Kate Kruler and Thomas uh, McLeod. So all of these people deserve another round of applause. And as you heard, we're naming this the Sullivan Center. What a great honor. What a great distinction for somebody who's worked so hard on senior housing. The Tukwila Village Project is so unique. Many of you probably already know we have a housing crisis, not just in the state of Washington, but throughout the United States. And so increasing affordable housing is something that we must do and we must be smart about it. When you think about Tukwila Village though, it is the most amazing project. Because in you thinking about housing, we have lots of different issues. We have workforce needs, we have returning veterans, we have uh, healthcare issues, and we have senior housing. The bottom line is that people are just living a lot longer. So to make affordable housing a reality for them, we have to have a project that is affordable. So. 90% of the affordable housing that gets built in the United States of America gets built with the affordable housing tax credit. So the tax credit is so critical to making this project and so many other projects like it a reality, but without Shag and without Brian, the vision for how this project would come together would not have happened. What we are seeing here today is 192 units of affordable housing for those seniors who are living longer. But not just senior housing, a great community, a great village, and a great community center, access to library, and other great amenities. So really, one of the most special projects in all of the United States, senior housing for those seniors that need to continue to have affordable options. And the great news here in Tukwila today is not only are there 192 units, it's just phase one. Eventually, there'll be 400 or nearly 400 units here, and so Tukwila is really stepping up in the state of Washington to provide affordable housing for the citizens of Washington State. Thank you, the city of Tukwila. I'd also like to thank Kim Herman and the Housing Commission for their great work. I'd also like to thank them for selecting this project because it is such a great example of what we need to do on the senior element of affordable housing. But just know that we have more work to do. Just this past March, we were able to secure the first increase in the affordable housing tax credit in 10 years, a four-year boost of 25%, working with my colleague Orrin Hatch from the state of Utah. But Senator Hatch and I want to do more. We want not only the income averaging parts of the affordable housing tax credit to be used, we also want people to understand that when you put a roof over someone's head, you solve a lot of problems. When you create affordable housing in a community like Tukwila, you give people lots of options to get to where they need to go and to access the services that they so uh, desperately need to access. So today is a win-win situation. It's a win-win situation for our seniors, for the city of Tukwila, and for the development jobs that were created by the low-income housing tax credit. 
So yes, I, I thank our Duwamish leader for being here today, and all I have to say is Haishka. Thank you.